Hey, Mrs. Bogart, this is Wes Fryer, and it's April 3rd, 2023, and I want to congratulate you on your selection for the Kansas Teachers Hall of Fame. I am so excited, and you are such a worthy teacher of this recognition. Um, I wanted to send you a video for your birthday, oh, yeah, and I yeah. didn't, and so I thought I'd just record a video. I'm here in my classroom here in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, where I'm teaching media literacy and robotics and engineering. And I think you know this, but you are one of the most important teachers that I've ever had in my life. And you're one of the reasons I decided to go into education and become a teacher. <clears throat> and so I thought I would share with you a fast little story that's maybe a little funny uh, that I think you'll remember. And then um, just, I, when I started to teach graduate and undergraduate students when we lived in Lubbock, Texas, I would challenge, I did co-teaching with my students where they would help design an activity for a lesson, but I had them share a teacher impact story. And so this is kind of my teacher impact story for you. The sort of funny story was back, this would have been close up Kansas when I was a senior, I think, you know, because I got to go to Topeka with you as a freshman in the close up Kansas program. And then also as a senior, and I think I remember one evening you would arrange for us to meet with, I think our, our, our either was our state senator or representative. I think it was a representative and people were pretty tired. I think we had eaten dinner and I think I came up with some question about tort reform. And so the representative went into this really long answer. And I mean, I might've been the only one that like, I think there were at least a, a few people that maybe dozed off during that time. And I don't know that everyone was too excited about me asking about tort reform. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, you certainly activated my interest in politics and policy. And I know that that influenced my decision to participate in competitive cross-examination debate uh, and parliamentary debate when I was in college at the Air Force Academy. Uh, but I think, and I probably put this in your nomination for the Kansas Hall of Fame, the way that you really connected history and social studies and politics and geography <clears throat> to so many different things, right? I mean, the block class where we connected the literature to the history uh, for, for U.S. history and American literature, um, but you did that in world history as well. Uh, you know, that's... Um, those are big reasons I, I, I chose to, to study political science and geography and Spanish and Latin American area studies and all, <clears throat> all these things that I studied and the, and the career that I've had. So uh, I want to say thank you so much and celebrate you. Yay. <laughs> I, I really I hope I can come to your ceremony in June. I don't know if we'll be able to pull that off or not, um, but I'll certainly try. And I just want to let you know I am. I am cheering for you and so happy for you this day. And so I wish you um, health and, uh, and wellness and happiness and all the best. Take care.